Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description. Oh, would I love to take one of these home. Good thing I got the proof of delivery signed so I can prove that I brought it here. Because, man, I would sure love to drop it off at my house. Now, that wouldn't be nice. Oh, look, my shoe fell out. My driving shoe. You stay there, little buddy. Everything is so dirty because it's springtime. It's just mucky. And there we go. These two are going to bury yet. This is our next delivery. It's going to Brampton, Ontario. We just took this one off the back. We're set. Delivery numero uno is done, Chevy. We did it. High five. High five. I'm not gonna smack you. <laughs> You're supposed to hit back. Here, shake a paw, shake a paw, shake a paw. You might have to sit for this one. Shake a paw, oh good, good. Can you see that? Can you see that? Thank you, nice to meet you, thank you. Good job, good job, good job, yeah. There we go, now I got the approval of Chevy. Start this baby up. Oh, there she is. Got air in the trailer, turn the lights on. We have our next destination hooked into our GPS here. Mandy is going to guide me there. I'm just gonna double check her work right now because I don't trust this woman. Uh, let's get that mic out of the shot. You guys don't wanna see that fuzzy mic above you there. It does help a lot with the audio. Oh man, that's, there we go, okay. Oh, so it wants me to go right past like downtown Toronto, eh? Right through Mississauga, actually, okay. Okay, if that's what you want. Just don't take me down the 407. I'm not paying at all. Okay, we're going down the 427. Okay. 427 up north into Brampton. We're going to be going across the 407, but not onto it. Okay. Okay, well. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. That's what they say, right, Chevy? That's what they say. Right? I, I don't know who they are either. I'm running out of clothes and stuff. I need to go home. I still haven't gotten any information on my reload after that. I think that reload is taking me past home to Alberta. I need, I need to do some laundry. I don't want to do laundry. I hate doing laundry on the road. I got enough clothes to last me to home if I'm going home straight from here, if I'm picking up a load tomorrow. But if I'm going anywhere else, I'm going to have to stop and do laundry. It bothers me. <laughs> I want, it's time to go home. If, if you run out of clothes on the road, you know you've been on the road too long. That's my thing. See if we can get ourselves back onto this little road here. Oh, of course there's traffic coming. The one car using this road is coming right now. Truman effect. The one one car. <laughs> Let's go. Before someone else decides to get in my way. Right, Chevy?
second delivery. Had to wait for one truck to get out of here first. Look at the size of this yard. Hey, let me get you out of here. I've got to get into that door over there. Can you see it? Chevy, can you duck? It's right behind Chevy's head. There's the door right there. And I've got to get in there. So they're moving a few of their machines around to make some room for me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to focus on not hitting anything, so uh, I guess we'll talk to you after this fiasco is over. They had to move a bunch of machines to get the other guy out because I've got to go out the driveway over there. So they had to move a few machines to get that other guy out of here. Now they got to move those machines back over there so that I can nose into there and then back into there. Fun stuff. They drive them right off the back of the of the flatbed into the dock. So that's why this is reminding me of the the dry van days. This truck needs a good cleaning. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to clean it in the next couple of days because my wife is coming to join us as soon as we pass by home. We're in St. Catharines, Ontario right now and we're headed towards Alberta. Britt is gonna jump in the truck with me halfway there in Manitoba. And so is Diesel and Frankie, Chevy. It's gonna be a full truck. It's gonna be crazy. Fitting for us, right? We're crazy. It's gonna be fun. So it's really windy out here right now. But uh, I'm going to get out there because I want to show you this load. I have to show you what I'm hauling. Okay, don't say I don't do anything for you. It's cold and it's windy. I don't want to go out there, but I'm going to do it for you. Here we go. Oh, there's the wind. It's still cold. Oh, oh good thing I got this big fluffy mic. Okay, oh boy. Here we go. Whew. It's all under the tarp. It's all steel. We are very heavy, very, very heavy. Heavy enough to get myself a massive ticket if I were to go into the United States with it. So windy, so cold, ah, dirty, I'm sweaty, I'm tired, but I have a coffee. I forgot about you. Not quite hot anymore, but... Ah, satisfying. So yes, you did hear me right. The whole family is coming along in the truck. And I guess I can announce this news here now too. Uh, now that Brit's announced it on her channel, because it's, it's her news to announce. So I wanted her to announce it first. If you haven't watched it, you'll have to go uh, check it out on her channel. Link is down below this video. I believe the video is called Snowed In, but there's a special surprise in there and I'm gonna ruin it for you right now and tell you right here. But I still want you to go and watch her video. If you want to. Britt is getting her class one CDL. I'm excited. This is totally her idea too. I didn't have anything to do with convincing her or I probably had something to do with well, why she's doing it. But uh, she made the decision on her own. She came and told me just out of the blue. She's going to go get her class one. We call it a class one where I'm from in Manitoba. I believe in Ontario here, it's called the Class A. In the US, it's called a CDL. It's a commercial driver's license. She's gonna be driving a big truck too. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna drive together. She's not gonna drive her own truck, but uh, we're not planning on driving team either. I don't wanna be in the same truck, but never see each other. Like one person's always sleeping, one person's always driving, and neither of us can sleep while the truck is moving anyway. So pretty much she's gonna have her Class 1, and she's we're pretty much gonna drive super single. So. I may still do the majority of the driving. Maybe someday she'll do the majority of the driving. But uh, this way we'll never have to stop for a, a reset, a full reset anyways. 
except in Canada, every 14 days you'd have to stop for 24 hours, but hey, then she can drive for 24 hours, or I can drive for 24 hours. Either way, we can keep the truck moving and we can spend our time together, because we're... We really look up to my friends, uh, our our friends, Jade and John. Uh, I know that they make, they used to make YouTube videos. They don't make YouTube videos anymore, unfortunately. I know I'm sad about that too. And speaking of my wife, here she is right now. I'll have to get back to you. And we're back. Nice. Feel better? All right. The coffee's all gone already. It's disappointing. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. So we're gonna stop at the on route on the other side of Toronto for a coffee once we get there. But we need to get going. We need to make some progress on this day. You ready for this? My feet are freezing. Turn the heat up. Wow, okay. A little early to break out the summer socks, I guess. Toronto's supposed to be getting snow this coming week. So uh, let's get out of here before that even begins. Exactly the same as always. We are coming into town or into the, the city. Right at the peak of rush hour. It's about six o'clock right now. So I mean, maybe it's the tail end of rush hour, but it is still definitely rush hour. And this isn't even that bad yet. We haven't even really hit the city yet. This is just the start of it. They have a toll road that goes sort of around the north side of the city but nobody uses it everybody just piles onto the free road so building that whole toll road I know they privatized it I think but it it serves no purpose really because I'd say that we should just take the take the toll off of it but you know that's just me it doesn't matter what I think oh no there's a lane ending up ahead, up to the, le the left lane here. Oh, that means everybody's gonna be trying to scream past and get in front of me. One. Though, to the credit of Torontonians, there's a lot of people who have actually gotten into this lane already and not trying to cut in all the way at the front. I'm actually pretty impressed. I was thinking already, you know, you gotta have respect for anyone who would wanna live in a city like Toronto. This is nuts. You're either brave or you're just crazy. There's so many people everywhere. And these are probably the people saying, oh, the air. I'm so worried about the air. It's so hard to breathe. Well, yeah, you live in a mega city. Come out and visit the countryside where we got a little more oxygen for you. Of course the air is bad in a city this big. But then again, if you think about it, the air in cities nowadays is way better than it used to be. 
there was an old saying that, uh, you know, the king of France used to go to the window of his palace or his castle and, you know, look out over the city of Paris and and smile and enjoy the view, right? And then there's other times he would go and stand in front of the window and faint from the stench because everyone would just defecate and throw their urine out the window onto the street and all of their garbage, everything was just thrown onto the street and the cities used to just stink. And when the industrial age first started, like London, the smog would blot out the sky, would blot out the sun. So really, we've gone a long ways to clearing up the air, I think. Look at these buildings here. I bet you just one of these condos costs more than my house. I guarantee it, actually. I bet you one of these condos costs more than four of my houses put together. And I got land. They don't even get land. They just get a hole in the wall. It's like buying an apartment where you don't even get the whole building and you still got to pay condo fees. <laughs> but you are close to everything, right? I like going down this little stretch here and looking at these big apartment buildings and big condo buildings. Such a different world than I come from. Like a different mindset. And I wonder how many of these people living in these little tiny apartments have never known anything else. I wonder how many of them have never left the city even. <laughs> Or how many of them have ever left a city? Maybe they left the city, but if you just go to the airport and fly to another city, that doesn't count. Okay, Mandy, you got to stop talking so much when we go through here. Just constant talking. You talk a lot. Yeah. I know that there's people in Winnipeg who have never left the city of Winnipeg. So imagine big cities like Toronto, New York, I wonder how many people have never actually been outside of a city. Are there any of you watching this? Mandy, for crying out loud, stop talking. I'm trying to have a conversation here. Sort of turn right? Okay, I'll get in the right lane already. Stop yelling at me. I was getting yelled at. How many of you, let me know down below in the comment section, have you never left a city and like I said flying to another city doesn't count you're still in a city I wonder if there's anybody watching this who like has a total different outlook on life because of that just stop by the on road here like we had planned on got Tim Hortons coffee and it better be the winning roll up the rim too I'm tired of getting those play agains. I haven't won one thing this year. Then again, I don't drink very much Tim Hortons anymore, though. I know. <gasps> Big gasp from all the Canadians. I don't drink much Tim Hortons anymore. And I've told you before, I really don't like their coffee that much. I would rather get gas station truck stop coffee than drink Tim Hortons coffee. It's just, it's not strong enough. I already get the dark roast, and I put an espresso shot in there. I mean, I don't want to start putting like two or three espresso shots in every coffee just so that it tastes like coffee. And it's just too weak. Maybe my, uh, maybe I've just, you know, grown more accustomed to it. You know, my tolerance is built up. <laughs> Everywhere else, the coffee is great. It's just Tim Hortons. You know, Dunkin' Donuts is very much the same too. I always call them the Timmies of the South. Their coffee's actually pretty weak too to me. Very similar to Tim Hortons, but Tim Hortons is still good. It's still a Canadian icon. I just personally, I'm just on a little break from them, except for now I got a coffee. That's only because Burger King didn't sell coffee. What kind of Burger King doesn't sell coffee? I went into the Burger King there and they looked at me like I was crazy. I'm like, hey, can I get a large coffee, two cream? And they looked at me and they looked at Tim Hortons. They looked at me, they looked at Tim Hortons, which was like right next door. I'm like, yeah, I don't want Tim Hortons. They didn't even sell coffee. I had to go to Tim Hortons. What a life. What a life. Continue 62 kilometers. Will do, Mandy. I'm going to continue a lot more than that. How about let's continue over 3,000? I don't get paid if I only go 3,000. I, 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 I don't get paid if I don't go 3,000. So we have 3,319 left to our destination. And we are heavy. I can't wait to get the steel off the trailer already. It's just heavy. 
my truck doesn't like it. I made it up to North Bay, Ontario here. And this is where we're going to spend the night. We'll find ourselves a good parking spot here. And I don't think they have Wi-Fi here. But they have a Tim Hortons, and Tim Hortons always has Wi-Fi, so maybe we can park close enough to there that we can hop onto their Wi-Fi. And this day was kind of messed up in my footage. It was actually two days put into one. I had a whole bunch of footage of unloading those Bobcats and a whole bunch of footage of afterwards as I went towards uh, my next shipper. Uh, and we loaded up that steel. But uh, it... It got onto the computer and uh, was corrupted. I guess I need to format my SD card on my GoPro here a little more often. But Either way, sort of failed to get you guys the footage from that, so I apologize for that. I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog and me blabbing about nothing for a little while there. Tomorrow, uh, I've got some drone footage that I'm going to be using. Uh, and then we're going to be making our way towards Alberta. So thanks for watching anyways, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, as far as I can tell, my footage for tomorrow it has not been corrupted. So it should be more of a fluid vlog with a nice flow to it, unlike today. But anyways, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. We do make a new video every day. Not all of them are all over the place like this. I'll see you later.